in this video I want to briefly discuss how to complete the ex transition escape room assignments. So since Google Classroom didn't let me upload everything together once I posted something, uh, this assignment has been broken into two posts. So the first post that you need to look for is the one that says transition words escape room one, which you're already here if you're watching this video. So we're going to briefly go over how to complete this assignment. So when you click on it, you're going to notice that there are some blanks and then these are drag and drop words and our goal is to drag and drop the correct transition word into the blank. So you just take it and drag it and drop it. Now of course don't go in the order I'm going in. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Um, but once you do that, you're going to end up with a code. And you're going to write the code as it appears in the order of the transition words that we dragged and dropped. So for example, if this was the correct order, my code would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Now my next job, once I have my code, is I'm going to look for the escape room 2, which is going to be above it. Notice mine's right here. I'm going to click open. And you're going to notice there are some other escape rooms here, uh, but what I really want to focus on at this point is this code reader. So I'm going to click it, and then there's going to be a link that I'm going to click on, and it's going to open up my code reader. And we have to go in order. So notice this is station one. So I'm going to enter the code in that I have for, or that I found for station one, and it's going to tell me whether or not that code is correct. So my code was zero one two three four six. And notice this code is not correct. So my next job would be to go back and then rearrange these again until I get the correct code. Now once I get the correct code and I'm able to advance to the next station in my form, then my next job is to go to station 2 because I have to work these in order. Station 2, our job is to look at each underlined word and decide whether or not it's a transition word. So yesterday. If yesterday's a transition word, I'd write one. Went. If went's a transition word, I'd write two. Usually. If usually is a transition word, I'd write three. So I would do that uh, for each word that's underlined. Now, of course, some of these aren't transition words. So like went technically isn't. So I wouldn't write two. Uh, so if it's not a transition word, you don't write the number. Notice according to the directions, there are seven codes. So that means seven of these words are transition words. Once I have a code, I would do the same thing. I'd go back and I'd enter it in my code reader and that'd tell me whether it's correct. Once that's correct, then I can advance to station three. And I do the same thing with station three, except with a different type of assignment where I'm dragging and dropping transition words into the correct category. Now notice these categories do match our categories in our interactive notebook. So these are ones that you could look at in your interactive notebook and you get it directly from there. So that's a pretty easy station. In this station, uh, we're trying to form a paragraph. So we have all these tra or, uh, sentences, and we're using the transition words to try to form a paragraph of where the sentences are in the correct order. Uh, once you're all finished with these, of course, remember that, that our, our, uh, it's very important to write your codes where it says code. That way, when I grade it, I can easily see it. But once you're finished with all this, you're going to click Turn In, and then you're going to tell me when you're finished, and I will update your grade in the gradebook. If you have any questions, please either message me on the assignment and I'll answer it, or you can talk to me in class.